Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here in Ethiopia or Hearts of Iron for using the Blood Alone DLC in which we're playing as everyone's favorite Italian nation, sometimes Italy. But we gotta talk about a certain route we're going because our fronts have stalled in Ethiopia, oh no. The expected success of our counteroffensive in northern Abyssinia and southern Abyssinia is nowhere to be seen. The Dolce swears that the entire world is laughing at him and the lack of progress is in the war. He has a half a mind to personally take charge of the northern offensive to make sure the troops are properly motivated and led. We'll prevail eventually in this fight. Of course, the Southern Front stalls as well, which I haven't even attacked at all. The Southern counteroffensive in Hapsoon has never reached goal the goals of Duce 1, which has left them rambling for hours while being surrounded by incompetency and idiocy. He seems certain that the military high commands working against him and that the generals want to see the entire war fail. Struggle. Undermine El Duce. Ooh. Conspiracies in the shadows. Ooh. Ooh. Conspiracies. Actually, you do foreign affairs, you don't need that, so. Um. So we are going to go with the Abyssinian fiasco, a staggering failure, struggle in Ethiopia versus we need a change of leadership. Our invasion of Ethiopia has turned into a disaster. Once again, we are faced with a shameful display of an Italian army failing to overcome an Ethiopian one. Like our forefathers at Adwa, we have been beaten. We can only guess what a defeat of this magnitude means for the future of the fascist system in Italy. Which kind of sucks. But you're not the opposition. The roots of fascism are strong in Italy and will take a great deal of effort to eradicate it. We must find common goals between the different groups that oppose the fascist regime since only united will we be able to overthrow the loathsome duce. So, approach a number of army officers and attempt to convince them to join our side along with some use when the Civil War starts. Yes, please, and we already did expand the facilities. First class of Navy does not need uh, just a strong battle fleet, but also the ports and dockyards to support it. When investing in our naval infrastructure, our Navy will have the bases and construction and repair capacity needs when the war breaks out. Also, we are on a historical, so uh, we're going to go with that. Organized strikes in the north. When the north starts to take over the northern Italian states. Five extra militia divisions. Southern farmlands. Um, that'd be probably easier to do in the north. Organized strikes in the north. Before we strike, we will concentrate all our efforts on gaining the support of industrial workers in Italy, making sure that the more industrialized areas in the north stand against us against the fascist regime. Sure, why not? Support industry. Oh, we're not even pushing. Like, I don't see the point of pushing. It's good for army XP, but we already have some army XP from just being alive, I guess. And we're, we have a navy that we're just trying to grasp up too. And I would like to get some army XP too, but you know, whatever. We're here to go explode. Oh, level four, not bad, not great. Naval treaties, we won't care about those eventually. Um, support weapons are very nice too to have. You have the opposition. Oh, we can see the trade unions. Communist coup in Ethiopia themselves. Interesting. Um, but let's keep working on some ships and such. Uh, modules, well, there's nothing we can really add here. That's not bad, but it doesn't need to be needed for now. I wouldn't mind some carriers eventually though. People's Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. Huh. A gallant, gallant doctor. Well, good for him. It's not us. In the north, we shall strike. Lebra Gramsci. Our current the Marxist philosopher Antonio Gramsci has been kept in prison by the fascist government for more than 10 years, and now his health is rapidly deteriorating. He must organize a clandestine operation to free him and save his life, or he will surely become a key actor in a workers' revolution. Uh, becomes members of the bar party, lose political power, stability, communism. Each time to recover from his illness, this year will be significantly improved in the future, the end of the war. The Duce now wants to switch to end of the war in Abyssinia. So Italy can turn elsewhere for further glories. Conquering the ancient lands of Aksum would solidify Italy's place as one of the major empires of the world. Whatever Abyssinian strongholds that are left need to be dealt with in all of Abyssinian lands need to be in Italian hands. Defy the Duce. Oh boy. The time has come to rise up against the fascist regime and eradicate the scourge represents for the Italian people. Workers all over the world, uh, or uh, <coughs> peasants of the Italy to arms. Yeah, not the world, not Italy. Uh, a little ahead of time, grab some of that because we can. I do want to get like some serious cast going. I love cast. I mean, we probably will not do well because at the time of this recording, I'm not 100% sure about how the playing system works. I know parts and bits of it, which makes sense. But to me, some of this uh, takes some time. I mean, I learned. Before this time, you know what? The faster we take to get that one, the better be, it will be for us when we want to turn communist. So I'm going to wait first. Let's defy the Duce. Times of war. Um. We really need to get our communist people here first. So, just a little bit more time before we do that. Democratic reformer, communist revolutionary. So, before we do that one, is there anything else we do? Servizio informazione militare. If you want to do about that, please go right ahead. I don't mind getting an intelligence agency because that's pretty decent to get. Um, so, we're going to grab this one for now. Give us a little more time to get a little more political power so we can actually do stuff here. Oh, Roy, waiting for Brazil. Oh, they're attacking us. Look at that. Oh. Okay then. I was not expecting that. Kinda like that. Oh thanks, medals. I love medals. Well, there's only seven divisions down here. I'm just kinda hanging out, having a good old time. 
Well, I guess we have no fuel too. Whatever. There, uh, give us cast and tactical bombers. Bomb the crap out of them. I like bombing people. You know, I'm an American. Um, if it's colonial policy, is everyone? Going, okay, and I didn't even set anything up like in the game rules for this either. So we'll see. I love how fast the game moves now. It's so good. Um, so this gives you the same amount, but this gives you guys gives you 50% more political power. Or, I, I mean, my, my stability, I mean. But this guy, this guy gives you more political power. The Abyssinian fiasco defied the Duce. Cold to the Duce, yep. I'm looking at these three. That's not bad, that's okay. It's pretty standard. This is even better for more stability. This is even better because you get research speed and political power, because I love the PP. So for that, um, so this is slowly going to be increasing every single day, which is nice. We still gotta get this guy before too long. It's only 35 day focus, so if we finish it and do one more 35 day focus, and then we can do that one, we'll feel pretty good about ourselves. Naval stuff, air innovations, preserve army traditions, Italian highways. Um, honestly, probably that'd be the best one, so we can start going down here. And I wanna grab that research slot. So the ancient Romans built roads that would envy the entire world. Now this ups our Germans believe that their Autobahn is far superior to anything that we could build. Of course, we'll prove them wrong. Keep learning, guys. You're doing great. Just hanging out, having a good old time. No wonder we were getting army XP earlier. Oh. Uh, head on down there, guys. Good luck. Karamski would be nice. At least get us to like 20% before we have get that guy. So we at least have 30% by the end of this. Oh, yes. Italian highways. And then we'll do a defy the Duce. All right, so with extra political power, I might just grab another one of these communist guys. More stability would be so nice, you know. Um, Ethiopia. Welcome back for Ethiopia later. Francisco de Martini. Peace. Thank you. Si, senor. We don't complete this. We lose political power, stability. Crap. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm doing okay myself. So there's, so there's madams and whoever else is watching. Nice. Marxist fundamentals, yes. The father of Chan. Time's come and rise up against the fascist regime and eradicate the scourge it represents for the Italian people. The workers and peasants of Italy, which I read correctly this time, unite or to arms, yeah. Where are we, where are we going? I don't know where we're going. I'm gonna get blown up probably. And to artillery is very good. Let's come over here. I love how fast it is moving. Eight, first eight minutes, like we can move so fast. I love it. I love what the devs have done to speed things up. But the war continues. The fact that Abyssinia is still free and resisting occupation has had the Duce raging for hours on end, kind of like me, calling it an embarrassment. Not only for him personally, but for Italy and his people too. If only he could have overseen this last phase of the foot war himself, it would have been done by now. He complains to everyone in this vicinity. The Abyssinians are putting up a hard fight. Surprise, surprise. So we want to also withdraw from Ethiopia. So now we can do that. The war against Ethiopia was mistake. It's time to sell this controversial affair. Um, we have to lose this. Grand balance. So what happens if we end up in a civil war? Now I did do that with Ethiopia too before. And that wasn't very good for the peace deal, so it's probably best to say goodbye. They accept our offer. Our generous offer of peace has been accepted by the Abyssinians. As far from the glorious victory we imagine at the outset of the war, perhaps we can take comfort in the fact that the war is now over. We'll overcome this humiliation like we've done so many times before and we'll rise up even stronger. Humiliation in Africa. I should have read that one, but whatever. Wait, do we, we're, we're supposed to lose this? Industrialization program? We're going to do about that. Please go right ahead. Expand the industries. Well, we're kind of going to blow up first before we expand the industries too much, so. So now we're only 30%, which is not great, but still. The Italian Civil War. However, right, so you now the people against fascism have come to a head. No longer can we sit idle by and watch a beautiful country bleed dry. With a gathered strength, we now have the means of once again. And for all the top of the fascists, even free Italy from a tyranny. Let liberty reign. Embrace the people's revolution. Communist Party, Democratic. Oh, I guess we could go Democratic if we really wanted to. Anti fascist community lose so much political power, though. But we're going to the people's revolution. Holy shnikes. Is this seriously all that we start with? This is not looking very good, is it? Oh, 
How many divisions does this group have as well? Up to roughly 40-ish? It's about equal-ish. Alright. Seize old equipment. Appeal to the bourgeoisie. Well, that's not bad. The Italian Republic. Add disgruntled military. Definitely don't want that one yet. Appeal to the bourgeoisie. We must reach out to the bourgeois groups interested in the fall of the fascist regime with the resources at the disposal and the courage of the revolutionaries. We'll be able to swiftly put an end to this bloody war. Um, I hope we do well. Mario! Ricci! Ricci! Lead us, Mario! Uh, probably don't want to train. If you can, just go ahead and take whatever you can. Go, 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 go! I love communism on some days. Bologna. Just don't get in circle, y'all. Good, good, good. And also, I apologize if the music is, uh, if you don't hear anything, or this is cut from the video because copyright strikes. Let's go support tactical bombers. Um, combine you two together. Let's see. I don't really care about not too much. There we go. There we go. Let me see. Wolf's no. That kind of sucks. Go to Archipelagos. Enemy retreat chance kind of sucks. I don't want that one for that guy. Ah, oh, screw it. Do that anyways. Good. We did make an encirclement, which is very nice. You plop yourself over that really river. Um, oh boy. We already lost a battleship. Are you freaking kidding me? Well, you're going home. You guys are fine, actually. We lost pretty much everything. Shnikes. Um, I grab that anyways. It's fine. Um, help him out, help him out. Is there anywhere else we could strike? Probably down here-ish, roughly. Or we go there. Send the tanks in, send these guys in, send one of you guys here too. You might be able to do something here, maybe. Um, I want the tanks to go down here as well. If they can push through there, that'd be great. I got the private fleet too, god dang it. Good. Go to the bourgeoisie, of course. Uh, Fiocchi Munizioni. Fiocchi has long supplied our armed ports with high quality ammo. To save supply of ammo is about when the wars come, so we should ensure that the Fiocchi are up to the task. So we have guns, support equipment, we need civilian trains eventually, um, trucks are okay, we need some arty, arty is going to be super important for all this stuff, ships, that's okay with me, I really hope it's not copyright claimed, that would really suck for me, and we're going to go back in, join the conflict y'all, join, 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 do the best you possibly can, you're going to go down there too, because you can. Because we're here to. Oh boy. You know what? Hold, you hold spread out if you need to. If they're going to attack us, we got to make sure we're ready for them. Um, Italian Mafia rises again. The Civil War has been the cause of a lot of bloodshed and grief and has shaken uh, the very foundations of the Italian Union. The chaos has left a power vacuum which is now being filled with the resurgent mafia in the Italian Union. Suppressing the mafia is perhaps the only good thing the fascists managed to do. Another problem to handle. Great. Losses, 9,000 versus 21,000. We're not even making any divisions, which is kind of bad for us. Let them waste themselves on our line. It's fine, as long as we hold, that's all I care about. Hopefully this guy's becoming a sea wolf. 30%, not great, but not bad. Consume it. Give him consume so it's harder for them to hit us. Nice. Increase artillery production, that'd be good. Um, 35 day focus for this one. Preserve army traditions. Well, we're probably gonna go a bandits war. We could try that one. Yeah, get some tanks. Really focus on tanks. As a uh, communist nation. Popular front. Italian socialism. Old alliances. 
Oh, that's for. Oh, that's for. Oh, heck no. That's for democracy. Who cares about democracy? Um, follow the Soviet Union. Defend the land. United Socialist Front. Raise the peoples. A communist. Tank oriented. Nation sounds like fun. Army traditions? But we're trying to upend army traditions. Um, the old ways of waging war shift down in the trenches of his own, though. Some of our old generals still believe that modern war can be won by throwing masses of soldiers into the meat grinder. We know better now. Modern war is fallen by fast maneuvers and flexible organizations that can react quickly. Let's prepare for army of this kind. We'll try it. Why not? We'll go crazy here. Um, we also probably want to grab an army person here. I'm mean, real democratic. I mm, can't do that guy. Bandits. Well, we can wait for this guy. Yeah. Get more speed. Something unique. Oh, this is a little more unique. That's fine with me. Um, cavalry is okay. Army recruiting is okay. This stuff is all just okay. Line doctrine cost. I'm not super concerned about that. We're still pretty god darn common units, so I'm okay with that too. There we go. Keep. Oh, no, you don't. No, you do not. There we go. That has definitely weakened their ability to wage war against us, though. Good love. Um, can you do anything there, maybe? No, I can't. No, probably not. Um, I want to attack down here, though. Get a little bit no, and which means they have to do all that stuff over there too, so. Wherever you need to, it's fine. Oh god, they've got quite a few divisions here. It's fine. Make it look like we're weakening ourselves. Can you guys go here maybe? Yeah, I might be able to do a little something here. Or maybe not. Or maybe you can still. So. I don't know. We'll see. More gun stuff. We got the trucks. Armored trains are okay. We're going to need some maintenance companies for the tanks we're going to build. So we, if we want to go with tanks, we're going to build a lot of tanks. A bandit's war. After that, Italian tank gets. Um, we get another military factor. Send to focus, though. Caliber attack and speed. Uh, Italian tank gets, maybe. While other countries might develop even larger navy and heavier tanks in search of super tank, they'll render all other tanks obsolete. You know, the best thing is a tank that's actually on the field. A tank must be fast enough to go wherever it's needed in time, and only really needs armor heavy enough to withstand rifles. Such a vehicle will be cheap and quick to produce. I apologize if you can't see this either, too, again. Uh, Les Bessia. Hindenburg disaster. That's nice. Well, maybe not nice, but whatever. We're going to close this area up. They're going to send a lot of convoys this way, and that's what we like. If we get Genoa, that, that's the end of them here. That's literally the end of them. Oh, God. Yeah, they're going to get a lot of experience. I hate killing it. my own people's... Oh, I need some fuel, too. No, hold first. Um, we'll go in here. Instead. This one to army leaders, yeah. Armies must always be led by the most capable officers available. As imperative, we create a city full of new and competent officers to make it, make it as advantage. Yeah, that's pretty good as well. Alright, so they're flooding. Go. If we find them in the water, so be it. That's fine with us. We don't really care. Because once this front is done, they're going to be completely dead in southern Italy, so that's all that matters to me. Construction 2, good. Some specific oil, because oh my god, we're going to need that stuff, aren't we? Um, grab some heavies just in case too. Good, that front's done. I love it. They've lost, we've lost a lot of Italian so far, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, let's go to the for, for now. Why not? Where's this one? Concealment expert, nice. We're gonna have to the way there. Heal off if you have to. Yeah, they're not gonna survive. Grand battle plan. Well, we're gonna go down more warfare, so. Uh, Churchman doesn't really help us out at all, at all, so let's go to Grand Battle Plan right now. Or, get rid of the Grand Battle Plan. Napoli! 
Oh no, it's a na ma Napoli. No, we need to really edit these team divisions as well. Improve light chassis. Um, there's not really much we can do about this one. Improve uh, tanks, light tanks. Um, one man turret's fine enough for now. I don't really care too much. We don't have that much army XP to really do much with. Uh, I like more uh, that stuff there. Fuel drums, less speed. More fuel capacity, sloped armor. It's not that much more armor, and it's a cost 10. Which is a pretty huge cost, even though I prefer more armor here, so. There's really no point for us to get that one. And you don't have to always, you know, max out these things either, so. More defense and breakthrough, huh? Let's grab this one, too. There you go. It's a little faster. Even faster. We're gonna change it up later too. Basic light tank, improved light tanks. There you go. Even more army XP and whatnot. Hey, we have one battleship, god dang it. Well, I might just focus on subs then. This guy's looking really good. Oh, it's a field marshal too. Fascists think they can take over my Italy and not and get away with it? No, I don't think so. Pretty good for army XP though. Pretty darn decent. Too bad we lost all the ships. Ah, yes. Good. Good, good, good. Army leaders, nice. Well, we should have had that earlier done, but whatever. The Italian Republic. The monarchy is an old and rotten structure that does nothing but hinder our revolution. So we get rid of the royal family and take care of their followers. The popular front, telling socialism we could do that, but we'll probably go with the popular front. The Civil War has shown that the communists are ca capable of not only leading and telling people to victory against fascism, but also the social and industrial progress that a country so desperately needs. Oh, good God, Jesus Christ, what the heck. Well, we got the ships back, I guess. Even though we lost quite a few of them. There we go. Well, all I did was weaken, literally just weaken our navy, which sucks. Whatever. Grab that. And also, we do want to grab motorization drive. Portugal seeks to purchase Italian ships. The Portuguese government, aware of their lack of proper navies, uh, submitted a tender to purchase Italian ships. Should we uh, accept to build the ships they desire, the process of goods we can use on our own purposes? We're interested. Sure. We don't really probably like the. Oh, we don't even have 30 divisions. God freaking dang it. Uh, I do want to edit these divisions too, actually. With this one. Light tank designer cost, yeah, I need 35 armies to be able to do that, but I can't so. We didn't even lose this part here, though. What do we go back to war with Ethiopia? Can we do that? The communists as well. Ten Republic. Nice. Pop it, fun. Cooperation with anarchists. Democrat for former anti fascist revolutionary, huh? Or chaplain. Huh. The reliability's not bad, but still. Oh god, you go. I wish they would remove ministers that we can't use since we can't see this anyway, so. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. We get the army XP guy. Plus 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 air experience gain. Air superiority, we could probably use that. Let's get that guy. Enable stuff concentrating. You know what? I'm gonna go with this. Uh, we always do combo rating. It's only 5% though. Nice. Uh, and do it to listen to anybody? No. Oh, we can still proclaim Greater Italy regardless. Nice. Alright. Garibaldi Legion. Oh, that sucks. We got to that too late. Shift in red shirts. That's not bad, too. Group de Adana. We should organize volunteer units to fight alongside our comrades in uh, the Spanish Republic's part of the International Brigades in the Spanish Civil War. They're not going to be able to hold out that long, are they? We could try. We could risk it. 37, not bad for 1937. 
Um, military police. We'll probably need some military police. Planes. I want fighters. Heavy MGs. Cannons. Well, extra fuel tanks are okay. Cannons. Go get some cannons. And just in case, let's save. Uh, just in case we need to. You never know if we need to. So, so we do heavy ship hulls. Is this a heavy cruiser? No, it's not actually, so I'm okay with that. Some radar, secondary batteries. Armor 3 is nice. Oh, no, actually, we want medium batteries. Twos. Twos, that's fine, that's fine. Get rid of this. Um, I want to replace this with sub stuff just because you never know if you need it. And torpedoes are okay. It's fine. I can get that too. Heavy ship holes. Well, engine three, that's actually really impressive. Engine three already, wow. That stuff seems all okay to me. There you go. We have some serious planes, so base close air support. These are exact same ones. Well. Yeah, because that zone's already going anyways, whatever. We need some serious amount of tanks, you know, get up to five there. We need some serious amount of trucks as well. Do we not have any fighters? Basic medium airframe. Basic. Um, let's go with that one. Oh, you're gonna put this, please go to head. Yeah. Yeah, some upper bombers. Oh, I did get it. It's at war. Gruppe de Defense de Donna. The revolution of women from different political formations have proposed to form women's defense groups for active participation in mobilization of forces in all classes and social strata in the event of war. So you get weekly formed manpower, which is nice. So we'll do that too. Defense policies, French Republicans defeated. Oh, we can't edit these divisions? God, I hate that so much. Oh, we're almost there too. That's not bad. El Gallo? Let's see, so we got this guy. What's the restraint? Um, Christian democracy, liberal professor. Well, that's not bad. Path of progress. More political power seems pretty good. Max factories in the state, though. Militia defense. Economist. Air volunteer cap. Well, let's probably wait for this guy then. Our leader steps forward. Ooh. Common ground. Political power. Crush the Mafia. Uh, the Mafia numerous groups of gang smugglers and extortionists and criminals in general that were during the Civil War. So due to the time, people to root them out and restore security in some countries to stability to us as well. Empower the Cabarini. It's not bad. A piece of military. War heroes. Socialist cooperation. More military police. Army modernization. Industrial socialization. He's trying to expropriate the big factories in the hands of big businessmen and bourgeois so they can be used for the greatest benefit of the entire Italian people. Yeah. Also, we do want to rush down here. Railway innovations. Even in, large, in the age of uh, automobile, a strong railway network is still the backbone of a strong economy. For the expansion of the railways in Italy, we set us for future growth. Investments in Edison. Italy boasts the very first power, uh, power plant in, in Europe. And it has been on the forefront of technology. With the investment in the Edison Company, we can ensure that we remain in the lead. Expand national universities. For a technologically advanced nations such as ours, there's always a need for more engineers. We have identified our universities as the biggest bottleneck for educating enough new experts to keep our country competitive. Uh, the leadership of the Republic. With a fledgling the Republic secured from the clutches of the fascists, we can finally set a new course for our country. What's needed now is a steadfast leader, one that is as wise as he is committed to a cause, someone that can steer us through troubling the town's head and not falter on their faith for a bright future. Karamski's rightful leader. Pamiro Togliatti, conservative communist. Pertini, Julius Ford. 
Staunch anti-fascist. Well, I know Dune Hammer gave me the temperature report recording. I think I'm pretty sure he went with Gramsci. I could be wrong. Um, I like more daily communist power or political, but we we'll get it anyway, so I don't really care. Communist power. Anyway, let's go, Sandro Pertini. I don't know. I, I do want to get this guy. He sounds very fun. But we'll go with this guy. The Turkish Empire offers industrial aid in exchange for the Dodecanese. The Turkish government's approach was an intriguing offer. The Turkish have offered us a portfolio outlining the historical and strategic significance of the Dodecanese to the Turkish Empire and drafted up a list of properties and manufacturing facilities that they would like to sell us in exchange for the islands. Our government has usually dealt in the business of acquiring land rather than surrendering it, but it cannot be denied that extra industry could be of great use to the Italian war machine, ultimately. We must decide whether the extra boost for industry is more the immediate and value to our nation than the Dodecanese islands. Your war support. Eh, I like the war support. No, not now, not ever. Oh, Cyprus is here too. Huh, okay. Well, the path of progress. Every communist and democratic socialist country at peace with us will receive an event to support our new government economically and in terms of equipment. Oh, yeah, also, I did forget to look at this. So, we're it's socialists versus communists. Well, we're max communists and encore manpower. Better daily communist support, supply range, decryption versus public costs. Starting compliance plus 20%. That's interesting. So, we're probably going to go hard communist. Low communist influence. Military parade. Air Force, Navy. Cooperate with the anarchists. Yeah, unify the left. Yeah, that's where we want to go, but we'll be fine where we're at right now. The path of progress. We already out to communist and socialist governments around the world that may be willing to cooperate with us and help us recover from the devastating civil war we're forced to endure. Also, can we crush the mafia now, too? Do we crush them? And they got to war with those guys, which is like those guys, which I was waiting for, because I do want to go to war with Germany as well. So now. The Czech Anton is here, which means we've got to fight a fat Czech Anton. Which is kind of going to suck. The Germans should be able to hold out at least against the French for a while. The Czechs, hopefully, too. Um, Angry about German posturing. You bet he is. Union in the party. Anti fascist agents. The union within the party is the most important factor for the development of a country towards communism. We must ensure that all members share the same vision, have the same goals, and follow the same process established by the party to achieve them. Absolutely. I was going to turn into a real giant mess very soon. Oh, they already got Vienna, huh? These guys are going to be struggling there for a while. These guys will be fine here, too. Um, we will have to deal with them as well, though. Path of Progress, Union and Party. If that's the case, I'm going to leave the tanks out. We're going to need an actual tank general. Not too much of a tank general on here. Oh, uh, wait. Prince Adel Adelberto. Well, if you're a prince, how are you still alive with us being communist here or whatever? We'll do that for now. I did edit these divisions a little more, so they're now the 18 combo width, and they're actually more like normal divisions, which is good. Uh, let's go stop training for now, too. See what we can do. I would like to add some of our plans, but I really want to wait until we get to uh, um, 1940. Really, would I like to change for that? Uh, these guys are not good enough by any means. Go with that at the very least. Make them at least 20 combo with for now. We're not going to have the guns or artillery for them. I guess we'll have enough guns and artillery though, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Still more economy, totally fine. Oh, we got rid of a guy here. Oh. Oh, he has to be our... Oh, okay. Darn it. Well, whatever. Um, revolutionary poet? You know what? Revolutionary poet's a guy. Nice. Wait. Prince Alderpo. Alderpo? <laughs> hey, Alderpo. How you doing, Alderpo? <laughs> uh, funny, funny, funny. Let's do the game just in case. Um, I want them to do relatively well to begin with, but... I did want Austria myself, so. And if we can't win here, then we'll just let them grind against us for a long, long booty time. Uh, we're gone. International support for the inter uh, Italian Union. You know, if we can't win here, it's fine. Just wait. The government. Oh, the Italian Union is listened to a call for support from the fellow communists and decided to aid us. Not only strengthen our ties with them, but also defensive capabilities, so we might protect our dear republic. United will never be defeated. Nice. We can join the Czech Entente. 
Ooh, do I want to do that though? Anti-Soviet bloc party. Topple government against every fascist neighbor or major country. Defend the land, follow the Soviet Union. Oh. Military cooperation. Defense against capitalism. Combined effort research. Special brigades. Defend the land. Create our own thing here. Puppet against the Soviet Union. United Anarchist Confederation. Raise the peoples. We could join the common turn. Well, since it's the first time, we might as well just try to kill them off too, right? Of course, we're hard communists. We're not. We're not. Uh, we're not anarchists. So you know that for now. They are pushing out that way a little bit too. Um, they're thinning out their lines just a little bit, which is nice. Should be able to move in here. We'll see what happens though. At the very least, I would like all of Austria. Nice. Well, you guys should have attacked there instead here, but whatever. Are struggling quite a bit here. Finding the mines does kind of suck. Just saying in general. Alright, so that's the case. You guys hold. You guys hold too. Sing out down here for now. War bonds, we could do that. And we are going to do that. Well, thanks, guys. And I knew they'd attack us eventually. I thought that's how much we lost. We did 12%, we lost 54,000. We've only inflicted 47,000, so not great. Let's do the five-year plan. Uh, just as their Soviet commerce, they will industrialize their mostly agrarian country in order to compete with the great world powers. We'll develop a five-year plan that will help us not only return to pre-Civil War industrial levels, but far exceed them. Nice. Six divisions is quite a bit. Wow. We're still pushing hard against them there. We actually might be able to bust here because they're weakening themselves so much. Recon companies. Uh, 1941 tanks, 1940 tanks, some more of that too. Should at least be able to push here, if not here. Should be able to get this tile. In theory. Yeah, this is good for army XP. Oh boy. We could join. Come on, take it. Get these guys in place. Don't let them move. Good. Out of this. New Reconstruction Industrial. Institute for the 
Reconstruzione Industrial, so far played an important role in the rescue, restructuring and financing of bankrupt banks and private companies. With some readjustments, we're going to make so sure that it continues to work without fascist tensions of the past. Nice. Good. We could join the faction and leave. Oh, he recovers. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at Oh, look at that. More compliance gain. Oh, we should. We'll choose him next time. Antonio Gramsci has finally recovered from the severe illness he sustained while unjustly in prison. He's ready to help our cause in whichever way he can, with a stronger conviction and further than before. Recovered by the optimism of will. Yeah, maybe get him later. Probably not. But whatever. Get the Pope. Bye, Pope boy. Nine, grab some more construction speed. We need to continue building, building, building. Are you seriously not even in there? Bruh. Is him in there? It's only a one. It's literally just a division there. Should be able to win there, right? Right. There should be able to do a lot of things, but whatever. The radar is nice. It's thirty nine. Come on. Okay, we barely got there. We, we did get there. And they're attacking us like crazy. Alright. Some leave. Let them do some damage more to us. Now we're at 12%, so which kind of sucks. Get a bowl looking pretty good, though. Okay, 39, drops about two, better artillery, yes please. Let those divisions leave and move around. Czechoslovakia's gone, which is very not good. Uh, which means they're gonna come attack us like crazy, check on taunt. Um, we could join and then leave. If I would say uh, That would give us a giant faction to work with, so we can take a Pulling ourselves. Uh, we'll join for now. This ended up in a very weird world. Let's see what you can do. I have to guys go there. I'm going to go there too. Yes. Um, we could follow Soviet Union though. Military cooperation. Co cooperation. I don't want to fight them, so maybe defend the land. We'll get there later. Uh, political commissars. Power these guys. Common ground. Let's leave behind the differences with other political groups with which in reality we share the same objectives. It's so better work together to lead to a new Italian state towards progress. Ah, the 12th Division is right on our side. Nice. Come on. Anything here? Offensive? Sure, you can be offensive. Unyielding defenders. Not a trade I was expecting from him, but okay. Using a lot of infantry, so we'll go down that way. Um, 
Mode would probably be nice too. Yeah, sure, why not? Common ground. He's military. That would be bad overall. The Valvalera. Um, let's go with this one. And Super Asesito. Coordinating a large army is not an easy undertaking. We need to create a structure for a supreme structure, which can guide and support the peaceful forces on the field. Which actually will go on first. Pierce, which is not good, but whatever. More war bonds. Mm -hmm. Just a wee bit. Well, just wait till they're done with that stupid battle first. There we go. Uh, mark them. Right, so we need some more artillery, which sucks. Uh, light tanks are a fine-ish for now. Get more, a little more punch and maintenance. Well, I'm just gonna throw this up on there. Good. Yeah, they have quite a few divisions around here, so. Fiat, go with Fiat for now. Divisions are just a little bit tankier, but you know, there's not much we can do about that. But we'll read a couple more uh, things and then we'll probably end it there. Uh, of course, we've got these two, these two, Bresca Small Arms Industry. Italian small arms are famous throughout the entire world for their high quality. Let's also ensure that we have a sufficient supply of the most modern types of weapons if we wish to ensure that our soldiers can get the best, or best, any enemy on the field. Milan Comms Industry. The new air field of radio detection and range fighting offers many opportunities and will doubtless become an important area of military te technology. Let's ensure that we can keep up with the developments of the area. Increased artillery production. The Great War was primarily a war of artillery. We'll have to assume that the next war will also be fought primarily by artillery. We must not allow ourselves to fall behind in this field. A new era for the red shirts. We'll follow in the footsteps of the Giuseppe Garibaldi and the red shirts, strengthening these militias and training them to perform their duties optimally. Both as part of the Italian army and volunteer brigades abroad. And Bugno Al Alzato. Um, it's time to eradicate the scourge of fascism and a threat opposed to all of humanity. We'll raise a fist in unity in this cool fight. Um, who do we want? Luca, he's a military. We remove this of military, which would be very good to do. Um, so let's just cooperate. Probably political commissars for now. You can do that one. In order to preserve the commitment to the communism and inspire ideological zeal in troops, we'll establish a figure of political commissars in the army, responsible for political education and an organization of the youth with which they're attached in army modernizations. Our reports could benefit from new equipment and training techniques that allow them to keep up with the armies and doctrines of other great powers. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. And as we continue on with Communist Italy, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.